So here's the thing, folks. Unfortunately, the adversary is going to have to see you in both modes. The, you know, you got a lot of modes of operation, but the adversary is going to have to see you, unfortunately, in both modes. They're going to have to see you in what I consider survival mode, and they're going to have to see you in creation mode. Okay? They're going to have to see you in survival mode, scratching, crawling, putting things together just to make your life click and be sustainable. And they're going to have to see you in creation mode, which is a more, a more, you know, a more self-sustaining life, a different type of energy. See, when you're in survival mode, your brain starts to function a little bit differently. Okay. Understand that the real, real core human beings, we are just animals. <laughs> You know, we are we are human beings, but you know we are still animalistic when it comes to a cert, to certain things, okay? And it, we are animalistic in terms of how our body kind of reacts to certain things, and how our mind and, and, and how we perceive certain things. We're animalistic in that way, and just like a a raccoon or a, <laughs> or a snake or, 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 or an elephant when they sense danger certain things fire off in their in their minds and, and certain certain chemical reactions fire off you see certain animals they'll turn camouflage you'll see certain animals they'll they'll shoot out venom you'll see that is the animalistic reaction or, or, or the natural reaction as a defense mechanism to irritants, to things that's going to cause you harm, to things that's going to make you feel like life or death, okay? Same with people. When you're in survival mode and it's triggering off that fight or flight response, you're not, you're not, you ain't thinking right. That was a big thing for the enemy. The enemy wanted you to be in a survival mode because they knew that if they could get you in a survival mode, you wouldn't be thinking right. And the decisions that you would make would be decisions that you wouldn't normally make. I normally wouldn't do that, but I'm in survival mode. I normally wouldn't respond to that email, but you didn't put me in survival mode. And so instead of my normal, or instead of where I want to be in my stasis, which is creative, which I can think clearly, I'm in survival mode. So, so I'm reacting out of a sense of if I don't do it this way, my life is in danger. I hope somebody gets that. See, when you're in survival mode, not only does it trigger some psychological things, it triggers some physiolo ph physiological things. My breathing different. My anxiety different. My blood is coursing through my veins different. You done put me in a place, and you tried to put me in a place where I'm I just got to survive. This is a threatening or dangerous situation. It's a state of fight or flight. I don't know what to do. I might either run or fight you. What happens in survival mode? The nervous system get activated. Start releasing hormones like adrenaline, cortisol, all of these things. And start dealing with your heart rate, your blood pressure, your respiration. See, understand, I'm going to give an example. Understand, let's say a financial threat a threat to your finances, a threat to your family, a threat to you. It'll do the same thing as a, as a to your body as a, a personal a, a personal attack, <laughs> because your body's perceiving every your your body's perceiving these things as life or death, fight or flight, sink or swim. That's where the enemy wanted you to live live in that. You become more alert. Yeah, you got enhanced focus. 
Yeah, you might even have increased strength or speed. Your inhibitions of non-essential functions has changed. You got heightened emotional response. You can you, you have impaired complex thinking. All of these things are are a part of having a heightened sense of danger. That's where they want you to live at. Because see, you thinking you're thinking, well, I did have heightened sense of strength, and I did have heightened sense of focus and te- attention to detail. Well, that was because you was in panic mode. But here's the thing. In that panic mode, there's there's a, a withdrawal effect when that panic leaves, when your energy is drained because you've, so, you've been on high alert. The enemy wanted you to feel that way about your finances. The enemy wanted you to feel like your finances were life or death. And so when you feel like your finances are life or death, you just clench up. And you try to hold on to everything. And it looked like everything going out the window. And you you paying attention to detail. So you're not making anything new. You can't even make nothing new. Because you didn't spend all your energy being scared. Man, please click on with me. Please stay on with me. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to your row. Now, when you now what 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 the enemy is gonna have to see though, and what they gonna hate to see, is they gonna hate to see you back in what's called creative mode. See, when the brain enter in creative mode, now I can think. It opens up imaginative thinking, creative problem solving, innovation. It activates my prefrontal cortex. It helps my neurons connect. I feel a dopamine release when I'm in creative mode. God is taking us there. When I'm in creative mode, time seems to fly by. I don't have a sense of, I don't really even have a sense of time. I'm experiencing positive emotions. I'm open-minded. See, when you're in survival mode, you can't even think of a new creative idea. That's why the enemy layers on the tax. I hope somebody gets this today. That's why the enemy lays on the tax because the goal of the layered attacks is to keep you in survival mode. I can't even open up my mind. I can't think about nothing new. I couldn't even think about a play to get me out this situation. I couldn't even think of a play to get me out of this situation. See, when you're in the creative, when you're in the creative mode, You will just be moving through your day and, and, and God will drop you something. Boom. Go over there and do that and do that and make that play. Boom. Go over there and do that. Make sure you make that phone call and do that today. That's creation. Where you can listen and you can hear and you can respond to your intuition and you can make tweaks. And survival will get tight. I can't even hear from God because I'm too busy crying to God. Spare my life. Spare my kids. Spare my family. Spare my relationship. Spare my my bank account. Spare my extended family. Spare my issue at the job. He can't even give you no creative idea. Are you tensed up? Understand, every time an enemy attack hits you, it's triggering a fight or flight. 
do I fight this or do I run? So your job, your mission, if you, if you so choose, is every day try to get in the creative mode. Every day, every day try to get in the meditative mode. Every day try to get in the prayer mode. Every day try to be in a mode of thankfulness and a mode of abundance. Every day. Man, but big boss man, that's you know what we've been through. That's that's almost impossible. I'm not saying you're gonna get there every day. I'm saying every day you make an attempt to get there. Every day. I gotta get in creative mode. I can't get I can't be. I can't be in a mode of feeling like it's fight or flight. Cause I can't think of nothing new. Nothing new can be released to me. Alright, peace.